Hey there viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. Fruits and vegetables make for a well-balanced, wholesome diet. But do you know the difference between the two? Many of us don't really think about it, but vegetables and fruits are very different. From their taste and texture to their structure and nutritional value. The distinction between them is based not only on scientific or botanical classification, but also from a culinary standpoint. You may have heard about tomato being a fruit, but is that all? What qualifies as a fruit or a vegetable? Which fruit gets mistaken for vegetables? What's their nutritional comparison? In today's video, we'll be clearing this up and talking about the differences between fruits and vegetables. Scientific Definition of Fruit Let's start off by talking about the exact definition of a fruit. Scientifically speaking, a fruit is the ripened ovary of any seed plant. It's the edible part of the plant that's developed from the new flower, and often is the sweet and fleshy part that surrounds the seeds. There can be fruit whose seeds are on the skin or the exterior part, like in the case of berries. Or they can be one large seed or several small seeds. Eventually, the main purpose of the fruit is to spread its seeds or attract creatures to help disperse them. In short, a fruit is a fully developed edible ovary of a flowering plant. Scientific Definition of Vegetables Unlike fruits, vegetables are the edible part of the plant. They fall under the category of herbaceous plants and are only cultivated for their edible parts. For example, the leaf of spinach or the root of beet and so on. You'll be surprised to know that there are numerous fruits that we eat daily that are masquerading as vegetables, tomato being one of the most obvious ones. Since vegetables are defined as the edible part of a plant, technically speaking, even a fruit is a vegetable. How do you include fruits and vegetables in your diet? Tell us in the comments below. Classification of Fruits and Vegetables We tend to classify fruits and vegetables from a culinary point of view through taste. Fruits are sweet or sour, whereas vegetables are mild and savory. Fruits are typically used for dessert or as garnish, while veggies are either the core or main dish or a side dish option. Although edible plants are used in a specific manner in the kitchen, the biological makeup of the two classifies them differently. They're also classified depending on the part of the plants they come from. While the fruit develops from the plant, other parts of the same plant are classified as vegetables. Fruits have seeds in them, while veggies include the stem, leaves, and roots. Nutritional Comparison of Fruits and Vegetables When it comes to nutritional value, both fruits and vegetables are extremely important in the everyday diet. This is no surprise. Adults should eat at least two cups of fruit and a maximum of three cups of vegetables every day. In terms of nutrition, both are packed with essential vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and plant compounds. They're also naturally low in calories, sodium, and fat, making them an ideal choice for literally everyone. Given the sweet taste of fruit, it's understandable that they're high in sugar and calories when compared to vegetables. For example, one cup of diced apples contains over 60 calories and around 15 grams of sugar, while the same amount of broccoli has less than half the calories and just a mere 2 grams of sugar. When it comes to fiber, fruit has more than vegetables. The water content is highly variable in both categories. Leafy greens contain over 90% water, and fruit contains about 60 to 80%. So the next time you're looking for a healthy meal or ways to shed those extra pounds, go for a wholesome meal that has a combination of fruits and vegetables rather than a quick sub. Similarities between fruits and vegetables Fruits and vegetables are almost always paired together, which has led us to believe that they're the same food. Here are the similarities between them. Starting with characteristics, both of them are whole foods that grow from the ground and usually contain seeds. They need sunlight, water, and the right soil to grow before being eaten by either humans, animals, or insects. Speaking about preparation, fruits and vegetables are cooked in a similar manner. Unlike meats, they can be eaten raw. One of the most popular ways of eating both is by blending them into a smoothie. In the current modern age of cooking, just like vegetables, fruit can also be grilled, poached, or baked. Before we move forward, are you spoiled for choice at the grocery store? Here are eight vegetables that you should be eating and eight you shouldn't. Now back to learning about the differences between fruits and vegetables. Health Benefits of Fruits and Vegetables This one is a no-brainer. Fruits and vegetables are good for your health, but you're still curious about their health benefits. Here's why you should amp up the amount in your daily diet. Number one, keeps heart healthy. Have you ever wondered if you're eating the right amount of fruits and veggies in a day? Enough to keep your heart healthy? You may want to bump it up from five to 10 servings a day if possible. This will definitely lower the risk of developing heart conditions by over 30%. 
Fruits like apples, oranges, pears, and vegetables like broccoli, leafy greens, cauliflower, along with an assortment of colored veggies are great for your heart health. Fiber is the most important compound found in them and lowers cholesterol and high blood pressure. This enables proper functioning of the heart blood vessels. Number 2. Weight Management Even a highly motivated person may feel like giving up at times on their weight loss journey. While managing weight may seem like a very stressful job, it definitely isn't. The key is to eat anything you like, just cut down the calories. Swap regular meals of comfort foods or high sugar and carbs for healthy portions of low-calorie and no-fat fruits and vegetables. This will help in reducing the overall caloric content of your body. They're also packed with fiber that leaves you feeling full for longer. This also means saying goodbye to unhealthy snacking. Number 3. Lowers the risk of developing cancer Plant-based foods are rich in phytochemicals, antioxidants, and nutrients that help in protecting the body against cancer cells and boosts the immune system. While eating fruits regularly lowers the risk of developing stomach and lung cancer, eating vegetables like carrots, squash, and other carotenoid-containing veggies also reduce the risk of mouth, pharynx, and larynx cancer. The chances of developing esophageal cancers lowered since these fruits and vegetables are non-starchy. Adding more portions of fruits and vegetables is not a difficult thing to do, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Number 4. Helps in Lowering Blood Sugar Managing blood sugar is all about striking a balance between eating the right foods and getting ample exercise. It's very important to regulate it and stay away from the risk of developing diabetes. Although fruits are sweet and do contain sugar, they're loaded with naturally produced sugar known as fructose. These do not harm blood sugar levels in any way. Fiber plays a major role in controlling these random blood sugar spikes which are mainly found in the skin of fruits and vegetables. Anytime you're feeling hungry, remember to choose a whole fruit or maybe a vegetable salad. Number 5. Maintains Digestive Health We've already established the fact that fruits and vegetables are loaded with tons of nutrients, minerals, and vitamins. This also includes folate, vitamin C, antioxidants, and of course the superstar, dietary fiber. All of these are key players in keeping your gut healthy and digestion well-regulated. If you've been suffering from constipation, then it may be an indication that you need to amp up the amounts of fruits and vegetables you have. Another bit of great news is that they even lower the risk of bowel cancer, fruits that are often mistaken as vegetables. All of us have a pretty good concept of which foods are vegetables and which ones are fruits. However, there are several plants that are technically fruits but are often put into the category of vegetables due to their taste and texture. One of the most controversial examples is a tomato. Technically a fruit, they are normally classified as a vegetable due to their flavor profile. Some other commonly mistaken fruits for vegetables include cucumber, avocado, eggplant, pepper, pea pods, and pumpkin. The bottom line is that both fruits and vegetables, no matter how different, are great for maintaining overall health. Eating the right amount of these assorted and colored fruits and vegetables also lowers your chances of developing chronic diseases or age-related issues. Including fruits and veggies in your diet will be one decision you don't regret. If you're looking for a healthier lifestyle, then include these nutrient-dense foods in your diet. Also, check out these fruits that double as medicine. Watching these two videos will help in maintaining your mental and physical health. Which fruits and vegetables are healthiest according to you? Tell us in the comments.